Oh, my dear bee. Haven't seen you here before. No need to tell me your name. Most people like to stay anonymous most of the time. Of course, that's completely up to you in the end. So, tell me, what brings you here? Looking to donate or just checking things out? Hmm, still thinking about it, I see. Well, do you want a little tour of the establishment or would you like to look around by yourself? Why? I'd be delighted to give you a little tour. After all, I offered it in the first place. Now, where should we start? You must have already seen the bar upon entering. So if there are both normal drinks for humans and infused drinks for vampires as well. Well, yes, infused with blood. What else did you think? Well, if you're already asking, there's two ways of donating blood here. Number one is normal blood transfusions. We got trained professionals here who know how to do it properly, no worries. The other way is by uh, letting us feed directly from you. For that, however, we have you sign a sort of contract. Because after all, it's not completely painless and uh, more inexperienced vampires tend to sometimes overdo it a little. By signing it, you basically just agree to knowing the risks that direct feeding brings. But enough of that. You said you're not sure if you're just looking around after all. Let's just continue with our tour. One more thing to mention about the the bar is that you can get some meals there as well, but they're not on the menu, so you'd have to request them. Oh, well, you couldn't really call them meals. Snacks would be the best, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry. If you go down that path right there, you'll get to the private feeding rooms. They're usually reserved for the higher ranked vampires or those with more money, so unless you somehow catch the attention of a big shot, that passage is irrelevant for you. The one over there leads to the restrooms. Mm. Otherwise, I guess there's not that much to tell. It's pretty basic. If nobody explained it to you in the beginning, the wristbands you got uh, at the entrance just help identify you. Or like, all visitors here in that case. Blue stands for human. If there are red stripes on it, it means that they're a donor. And uh, completely red is for vamps. Got it? So if you change your mind, you gotta go to the entrance again to get it changed. But then you also gotta expect other vamps to approach you eventually. Why, yes. You saw correct, mine is red. Why? Are you interested, perhaps? <laughs> Wait, for real? <laughs> well, if you're serious about this, of course I can say no. Actually, I haven't fed this week so far. Couldn't find anyone who caught my eye. You, though, let's say I have a thing for fresh blood, but nobody has managed to suit my tastes quite so far. Let's see. Maybe you can be an exception, hmm? If you'd be so kind to follow me. Oh, <laughs> I got my own room, no worries. Hmm? Did I say it's only for high ranks? 
Well, you see, Buttercup, I'm one of them. <laughs> I didn't lie to you. You just never asked. Changed your mind now? No? Good then. This one's mine. Just take a seat wherever you want. It doesn't really matter. Now before we begin, as mentioned earlier, I got a form for you to sign. Of course, I'm going to explain it to you first. Let me, let me grab it real quick. There you go. See, it's not that much. But to summarize the, the most important parts, this basically just confirms that you will not get turned through this agreement and it also guarantees that you won't get killed. Listing the loss of consciousness as the worst possible outcome of a feeding session. You also are advised to not feed more than one vampire at the time as our poison turns your blood sour to any other vamp. So if you should decide to cancel this agreement, you should not offer to feed anyone for about two weeks as that's the time the poison needs to get neutralized again. The contract can be canceled or uh, detonated uh, on both sides for no particular reason. At any time, basically. Got it so far? Good. I'll let you read over this thing alone real quick. Tell me when you're done. Ready to sign, or did you change your mind? Well, I'm happy to hear that then. If you'd be so kind, just put your signature on the line down here. Thank you very much, and with that, we're basically done with the formal stuff. Now let me give you a quick rundown. Usually, we advise our donors to come well-fed and hydrated. Did you drink enough today before coming here? Hmm, I guess that'll have to do. Could you please give me your arm? Doesn't matter which one. Oh no, I don't bite the neck. It's too... intimate. I'm not really a fan of that. Well, maybe someday... Maybe someday I can show you... If this won't be a one-time thing, of course. Really depends on if I can stand the taste of your blood or not. Let me just sanitize the area real quick. It's a normal procedure for our and your safety alike. But yeah, it's just a regular disinfectant wipe, so nothing special. Alright, there we go. Now, want me to give you a warning or do you prefer to be surprised? <laughs> okay, I can give you a little countdown then. Well, of course it'll hurt a bit. After all, it's going through his skin. <laughs> Ah, uh, anyways, you ready now? Okay, 
What a surprise. <laughs> I guess my gut feeling about you wasn't wrong after all. <laughs> oh dear. I'm not going to take much in the first time. We don't know how your body will react to the poison after all. The thing that I'm gonna do is send you home now to relax for the rest of the evening. I'm not joking around. Yes, I know I did not take much, but that's normal for the first time. I'm gonna call you an Uber that takes you home now. Free of charge. If anything comes up, you can just call me. Sometimes there are some unpredictable side effects or reactions to the poison, so... Yeah, we better make sure that nothing in that regards happen. You should have read the contract more... more attentively if you can't remember these aspects of it. It was a delight to have you either way. And to my surprise, I actually wouldn't mind seeing you again in the future. Here, let me get something to drink for you while we wait. There. Are you feeling okay? Good then. You want, to es want me to escort you to the entrance or are you going to be fine by yourself? Alright, I trust you with this then. Your Uber will be there waiting in front of the bar. It should only take a few more minutes. Then, take care and hopefully I'll see you again soon.